Oh yes, it is time for the snazzy orange chair. This is amazing. It is so comfortable. And orange has kind of become my favorite color, hence the curtains. Whoa, whoa, nearly fell back there. That's just how good this chair is. I can just spin. Oh, what a, whoops. What a beautiful, beautiful chair. Tech MW. Today, now that we've achieved Windows Vista on the 2006 MacBook, we are going to explore Windows 7, the sequel to Windows Vista. I know the M1 MacBook Pro is on my desk. I know it looks like I'm going to try and install Windows 7 on this, but I'm not because obviously <laughs> Apple Silicon. We could try that in VirtualBox though. That could be quite fun. Now, a few of you might remember this disc from a very old video. Oh yes, it's back. And today we are going to be using it on the 2009 MacBook Pro. I have to be honest, the MacBook Pro has a little bit of a dodgy DVD drive. So that's why I'm actually not very hopeful that it will work, which should make a great Tech MW video, but it does have issues. So we're gonna see what happens. Ta-da! I don't actually think I've done a video on this MacBook before, so this is a great introduction for this MacBook. However, I have just remembered something. You see, when we installed the SSD in the 2006 MacBook, I think we took it out of this. So this has no drive and obviously, you, you kind of need a drive to install Windows on. And I don't have any SSDs left. Ugh. Uh, screws, stuff, SATA cables. Ooh, what do we got here? A hard drive with tape on it. Uh, 250 gigs. Eh, that'll do. Let's do this for safety. I'm going to have to unplug the charger because you know, zap and all that. It is quite scratched, I'm not gonna lie. Screwdriver. That won't do. Yeah, that'll do. All right, try and do this one-handed. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon. Squeezy. Do we have a drive? No, we do not. Excellent. So we'll shove this in there. We'll just try and do this one-handed because, you know, filmmaking and all that. No! Stop move. Stop. Stop running away from me. All right, let's just shove that in. I know this is supposed to have like things that screw in on these sides, but don't worry. Maybe I should have removed the tape from this before I... Ah! There we go. That's fine. We haven't broken it. That's fine. That's fine. This MacBook Pro is getting on a bit. It's got a cracked trackpad, as you'll see. You know what? I, I'm not even going to do these screws back up. I'm genuinely just not even going to do the screws back up. Like... It's fine. The screws are just going everywhere. That's fine. Ah, turn that around. Lovely. All right, we've got our slightly dented MacBook. Let's pop that in there. Nice. Trackpad cracked. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Hold the key. We have Windows on this SSD. Sorry. Let's just try and boot into that. I'm just, I'm curious at this point. Are we good? Wait, what? What? This originally came from the 2006 MacBook, this hard drive, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this was an, an bloib. Did I set the password? Uh, did I set the password as bloib? One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, well, forget this. We will do a video on this in the future, 100%. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna nuke the Mac OS install on the other partition and we'll install Windows on that. And then, then, MacBook, hello? Are you going to respond? Don't just give me the white light of death. I've had this on a MacBook before and it just hasn't turned back on ever. Uh, oh, oh, come on, just as I took my hand off the old key. All right, what we're gonna do is we'll shove our Windows 7 <laughs> disc in the side. Let's hope it even picks it up. Otherwise, this is going to be a very short video. I should have probably tested that before I started filming, but you know, Tech and WA and all that. It's making noise. <gasps> Hooray! Windows! All right, that actually took a while, which is what I meant by the, the kind of dodgy DVD drive in this laptop. It should logically work, theoretically. Please give me that Windows is loading file. Yes. I pressed any. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what a beauty. I remember because I did the poll and you guys wanted 
Windows 7 on this, even over the 2006 MacBook. So is it just a case of you've had enough of the 2006 MacBook or is the 2009 MacBook Pro just more interesting at this point? Let me know in the comments what you think about that because we could try all of the experiments we've done with the 2006 MacBook on here. <laughs> all right here we go install now okay here we go custom disk zero uh can we just nuke that and just turn it into unallocated space same with this yes we can install look at that so i'm hoping this is linux and this was mac and, th and this was mac os i don't like the fact that the drives just spun down i'm just gonna move these out the way as well <laughs> There we go. Get my microphone out. Oh, oh no, no, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Please light up. Yes! Okay, right, we're good. <laughs> hey, hey! We are past stage one. This MacBook has had the tendency to just stop working on me sometimes. The last one I had completely just died. I know Windows is showing up, but that's Linux. Let's just let it do its thing. Uh oh. Oh! Hey! Look at that! Okay! We might not have too many issues then. I know Windows 7 is obviously meant to work on this MacBook anyway, but I kind of wasn't expecting it to work that easily, given this weird DVD drive that just seems to give me problems all the time. We have reached the next step. I would say it's got drivers, but it hasn't. It's still just a bit stretched, but that's fine. Here we go. Windows 7 Home Premium, up and running. Bleebatron, Bleebatron PC. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll, we'll just skip that for now. We don't need that. Would you look at that? Windows 7 on a 2009 MacBook Pro with a faulty DVD drive. Let's go. It might have taken a bit longer than we expected and we might have encountered Linux at the same time, but we finally did it. That time is wrong. I don't know why it says 12.52. It's not, it's like over an hour behind. That's fine. Oh, and the, yeah, this hinge. Oh, that's solid. So it, it has no drivers whatsoever. We've got what we got. We've got a Core 2 Duo, 8 gigs of RAM. Nice, nice, nice. But do you know what this means? This has opened the door to gaming on this MacBook. We can potentially get Steam working somehow, and then we can install some games and, uh, you know, see how it runs them. Let's see if we can install boot camp drivers. Does the eject button not work with no boot camp drivers? Eject. Such a nice sound. <coughs> snow Leopard will do it. Because if you didn't know, the Leopard and Snow Leopard discs actually have boot camp drivers on them. If you load the disc on Mac OS, it will just have the installer. But if you load it on Windows, it has all the boot camp drivers, which is pretty cool. I think it's like a dual layer DVD, so one reads it, the other doesn't. It's quite cool. It's just going to take about 400 years for this to actually uh, load. And now it's got the time, right? Look at that. Oh, as the taskbar disappears. <laughs> Why does this have to install ATI graphics? It doesn't have ATI graphics. Why, why are we wasting time? There's a lot of loading wheels. Drive isn't really making much sound. I say as it spins up. Well, it's been literally an hour and the boot camp still hasn't finished installing. So I just decided to have dinner for lunch. I had a burger, three sausages, peas and chips. What an amazing combination. Let's go and check on this MacBook. Hello? Are you alive? Ah! Oh yeah. Let's see if we've got sound. Hey! Oh. Oh, uh, that's not Aero. Look at this. Oh, wow, we've got Mac OS 26. Let's have a look in our thingy me jiggy. Bleebatron PC. Bleebatron PC. GeForce 9400M. Let's go. So this Mac is pretty much all up and running on Windows 7 now, which means we can potentially 
install some games. With Windows 7 actually being installed, that is going to win this video here. If you enjoyed this one, please do consider leaving it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And also, don't forget to join the Discord server. The link is in the description below. It's a great place to hang out and I'm always waffling on there about random stuff. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next video.